Just about uh, to get underway here in this JV basketball game between Freona and Muleshoe, the last game of the year for the boys. The girls have already finished their season, and the boys will end up with the JV uh, Mules playing against the Freona Chieftain JV, and then the varsity will play after that, and they need their book there. Go ahead, I'll get it here. <laughs> All right, we're ready to go, and we were unable to get uh, the Freona name, so we'll just call them by numbers. Freona on the tip. No one had record, so we'll just uh, go with what we have here. Rebounded by Muleshoe. Muleshoe on the missed shot by Freona. All the way down the floor. Number two drives in, fires off the rim. No good, and rebounded by number five of the Mules, and we'll get these names for you in just a moment. Freona steals the ball, lays it up, misses, tips it in. A good tip in there, but number 13. And it's 2 0 Mule Shoe. It's a full court press by the Chiefs. Looks like some kind of a 2 2 1. Trying to trap. Mule Shoe gets the ball across the half court line. Inside the shipman, and then bouncing away. Number 25 puts that ball up and in, and that's Marco Danielle. So the Mules have tied it at two. Number five out on the court for Muleshoe. That's Roman Franco. And there's a rebound by the Mules, and it's 2-2. Pass down the floor. A little short jumper in there is no good. A battle for the rebound taken by Freona. Score tied. Uh, 6.46 remaining opening quarter. Freona with the ball inside, and they somehow come away with it and kick it back across the half-court line, and it's called, and it'll be a backcourt violation, so it'll be Muleshoe's basketball. Let's see. We have number five out there for Muleshoe. That's Roman Franco. Number 25 is Marco Daniel. Number 33, putting one up and in. A nice shot in there, Shipman. Number 33, Blaine Shipman, and it's 4-2 Muleshoe. Also on the floor for Muleshoe is number two. That's Tony Castillo. Almost a steal and hit last, I believe, by Freona, and it was. It's Muleshoe's basketball. And the other mule starting out there. Let me figure out which one that is. We have a two and a five, a 33, a 25. Looks like number 20 will be the other starter. That's J.J. Gardera. Gardera. J.J. Gardera. Ball being moved around now. Muleshoe leads 4-2. Little motion offense, gets the ball inside, goes up, misses the shot. Good, tough rebound by Danielle, and the ball batted away, and it'll belong, belong to Muleshoe. So the Mules lead 4-2, have the ball under their own bucket with 5.53 remaining here in the opening quarter. Screen pass outside, shot off the rim, no good, and hit last, I believe, by, it was by Freona, so it'll be Muleshoe's basketball again. Muleshoe sets up their out-of-bounds play. It'll be Godera passing the ball in, and it's thrown away. Stolen by the Chiefs. They're all the way down the floor. Number 13 with the ball over in the corner. Drives all the way in. Misses. Had a nice shot and missed it, and it was rebounded by Shipman. Ball down the floor by the Mules. Godera with a basketball. Looks inside. No one to pass the ball to. And uh, Gordera tried to shoot the ball, had it blocked, and it was taken by Shipman. Shipman put the ball up, and he was fouled. So he'll go to the line for two. 3-0 fouls for the Freona Chiefs. We uh, only were able to get a couple of Freona's names before the game started, so we'll try to get those later. The first shot by Shipman is off the rim, no good. Four more players come in for the Mules, one for Freona. We have number 44 in the game. That's Tristan Boning. Uh, number uh, three is in the ball game now for Mule Shoe. That's Josh Lopez. Shipman fires this shot, misses, and it's rebounded, though, by number 10, who just came into the ball game for the Mules. And the shot in there by Lopez off the rim, no good. Rebounded by Freona. Freona quickly down the floor. Good job by Lopez shutting off the fast break. Shot outside is good, a three. 
by number four, and Freona takes the lead five to four. Okay, let's see if we can get some more of these names. Number three is Josh Lopez. Pass in to Shipman. Up and in. Shipman has a couple more, and the Mules go back, take the lead at 6-5. Full court pressure. Number four beats the press all the way down the floor with a dribble. Wanted to fire another three. Cut off the Lopez. Frontly doing a lot of screening. Now they drive all the way in. Missed a layup. Rebounded in there by number 10. Compass. Trying to, I don't believe I have him down. Yeah, here he is down to bottom here. Okay, Danny, Danny Compass, number 10, okay. Joel, uh, Josh Lopez, number three. Is Gray Johnson in? And there's one inside. Uh, good pass inside, laid up by number zero. And that's Keegan Gonzalez. He has a couple, and the Mules lead eight to five. 406 remaining here in the opening quarter. Freona drives all the way in, kicks it back out, and they're fouled. Foul will be on Keegan Gonzalez. Number 25 will go to the line, shooting two for Freona. Let's see, we have number four in the game also for Mule Shoe. That's um, Wesley Clarkson. And the first shot is good. It's eight to six. Muleshoe leads by two. 401 remaining opening quarter. And the next shot is also good. Two shots from the free throw line there, but number 25 cuts the gap to eight to seven. And a steal by Freona puts the ball up, misses uh, Layup, it's rebounded by number four, that's Clarkson, all the way down the floor. And he passes back out to Clarkson, was Gonzalez. Clarkson hits a short jumper, and the Mule's up 10 to seven. Lead by three. Yeah. There's a foul underneath, let's see who it's called on. Was that Gonzalez again? Yes, his second foul. Okay. Number two at the line for Freona. They trail 10 to 7. First shot is off the rim, no good. And number two will have one more. Second shot up short and missed everything. So it'll be Mule Shoes basketball over on the side. Should be. And they're giving it to them underneath. That's number 44, uh, Boning. Gets the ball inside. Now, ball passed back to him. He dribbles down the floor, and all the way down the floor is Gray Johnson. Kicks the ball back outside. Mule Shoe setting up an offense now. They lead by three, 10 to seven, 315 remaining opening quarter. A little motion offense across the middle. Driving in his compass and he'll be fouled. Red two on the foul. That's uh, Jose Tandio. Jose Tandio is the name of number two. We did have that down. That's two fouls on both teams now. Antonio Vasquez. Antonio Vasquez in for the mules. Johnson gets the ball out of the corner, tries to, they try to get the ball inside then, and it was stolen by Freona and a foul on the mules. Clarkson on the foul. Clarkson tried to get the ball inside. It was batted away by Freona, and then Clarkson foul trying to get the ball back. And there's a steal by Clarkson. And the pass over in the corner, it is in and out, no good, by number 10. Uh, the Mules rebounded by Freona. Shot up and in, and it's 10 to 9. Saul, uh, how do you spell it, Bob? Espino, okay. Sounds right. 10 to 9, Mule Shoe leads by one here with 234 remaining in the opening quarter. Ray Johnson with the basketball now for the Mules. 
Fernandez pressed has hurt the mules at times. Campus with the ball. Goes to Clarkson and back inside. Passes to number 44 Boning and he had a a decent shot and it just wouldn't go. So it's, the score remains at 10 to 9 in favor of the Mules. And Frelna really likes to drive and they drive that in with number 13. He lays it up and in and Frelna takes the lead at 11 to 10. Six points, Six points for Spino. number 13, Espino. And the timeout by the Mules, 203 remaining opening quarter. They trail 13 or 11 to floor. 10. Uh, be shipping back in there, Roman Franco. Tony Castillo, number 25 is Marco Daniel, and number 20 is J.J. Godera. Mule Shoe almost loses a ball against the press, retains it, and now gets a ball down the floor. Almost, uh, almost a 10-second call, and uh, Freona just takes the ball away from the Mules and drive. In and it's going to be a charging foul on number 10. Probably a good call there. Frona just took that ball away from the Mules out around the half court line. It was close to a 10 second count anyway against the press. And then, and then uh, number 10 on the charging call in tried to drive all the way in. And Mules, she loses the ball on a long pass. Frona has it back, a turnover on the Mules. And Freona down the floor, leading 11 to 10 with 135 remaining in the opening quarter. They really drive for that bucket. They do again and miss that one. Number 25 had an in and outer and a jump ball called. It goes to the Mules will um, be their time on the jump ball. They have the ball out of bounds underneath the Freona bucket. I don't know. That's a kind of a, almost a. 4-1 press there. They just really attacked the ball all the way in, and we missed. And put back up and in by Shipman. Shipman with that left hand did a good job. He has six. And the Mules have a 12 to 11 lead now with 109 remaining, opening quarter. Good tough defense there, but number 20, Gordara. Gordara. Driving the middle, number 14. Boy, we're just kind of standing there, Bob, and they're just driving right through the middle of us. They really drive the middle. Number five on the foul, that is Franco. Franco, the foul. Four fouls on the Mules, three on Freona. Here in this opening quarter, 58 seconds remaining. Freona has a chance to take the lead, missed the first one. They'll have one more shot, 14 could tie it. It's 12 to 11, Mule Shoe. Christian Hotch Hotch Hotchins. Hotchins? Hotchins. Christian Hotchins shooting, number 14. And he missed this one, and it's rebounded by Mule Shoe. Good, tough rebound there, but number 25, Danielle. Mule Shoe cut off. Man for man defense by the Chiefs. Now we're set up with number 20 out on the point for the Mules. Driving all the way in, and the shot blocked by big number 25. Freona has some size in there. Number 20, Godera, has that one blocked. Muleshoe sets up their out-of-bounds play with four men set out around the free throw line. A lot of screening and moving. And we threw the ball away, though, trying to get it in. Let's see who hit it. It is Freona's basketball. Okay, with 34 seconds remaining in the opening quarter, the Chiefs trail Muleshoe 12 to 11. Dribble down the floor, and there's something called a walk. That was good defense by Shipman then. He moved his feet, and we hadn't been doing a lot of that, but he did then, and good job. Gordera, number 20, drives in the middle, and he has the ball taken away by another mule and a foul. A rebound and two points in there for Shipman, and he was fouled. So he has eight points and a chance to make it nine. I guess that counted. Yeah, it did. 14 to 11. Mule shoe leads by three. Shipman has eight of the 14. Well, they'll put it up, I think, Bob. 10 is second. And here's a shot by Shipman, and he got that one. He has nine points now, and the Mules lead 15 to 11. 
Brown with the basketball with 11 seconds remaining here in his opening quarter. And they try a long one. It is off the back of the rim, no good. Rebounded by the Mules, and the Mules lead 15 to 11 after one quarter. Okay, we're ready to start the uh, second quarter. Uh, it's free on this basketball. The Mules lead 15 to 11. And. Okay, there's a drive. He just drove in and laid that one up. Number number 13, Ronnie. I think he has about eight points. Uh, 13 is... That is Saul Espino. Okay. Uh, foul was on number four. And the foul was on number four for the Mules. And uh, let's see who number... That is Wesley Clarkson. Now the ball goes over to Danny Compass. Oh, it was on there. It was on their number four. Brant, no, it's uh, Jacob Dixon if it was number four. Now the Mules have the basketball. Um, Uh-oh, stolen away, and they, they're going to lay it up for two right there. It was, Mules turn it over. Uh, usually, uh, Jacob's a real good ball handler, but they, he, they just took that and away from him. There's a shot, no good. And rebound, Friona. And we go back the other way quickly. Now he stops in the lane, dribbles back out. And now it goes back out to the wing. And number 13. And that's Saul Espino. There's a shot, no good. And the rebound comes all the way back to the, nearly the center court to Friona. 15 to 15 is the score. And that goes in the corner to number four. And that is Jacob Dixon. Now over to 25, Trent Hickman. Now back out top of the key to four, Dixon. 15-15 ball game. We've played nearly two minutes in the second quarter. Now 13, this is all Espino. Drives, shoots, and the rebound. Rebound's going to go to Keegan Gonzalez of the Mules. Now the ball goes over on the wing to Compass. Now back to Shipman. Now over to Gray Johnson. There's the shot. No good. Rebound, Friona. That was a shot by Compass. Off the back of the rim and rebounded by Friona. 5.32 left in the first half. There's a long three-pointer. No good. And rebound. Rebound. Keegan Gonzalez. Good tough rebound there. And that's Jacob Gonzalez. And stolen away. Josh. Uh, Josh having a little trouble. Ronnie, he's uh, usually a good ball handler, but he turned it over twice there. But Friona's, Friona's pretty quick, pretty aggressive. Number four with the ball, Jacob Dixon for, for the Chieftains. They're running kind of a roll out front there, a roll off of uh, motion offense. Number number 30, Brant Hickman hit one, Ronnie, from about 30 feet. And we have a, we have a jump ball, and the, the arrow indicates that the Mules have it. Now we have new players in the game now. Freona, as Ronnie said, is on a 7-0 run. Now it goes over to number two for the Mules. That's Tony Castilla. There's a drive, a shot. Good, good shot there by number two, Tony Castilla. Just drove in, banked it off the boards for two, and he's fouled. And let's see who the foul is on for Friona. He'll get a chance for three-point play. And it's on uh, number 25 for Friona, and that's Trent Hickman. And number five, uh, Roman, Ronnie, that's Roman Franco then that made that, wasn't it? And he made the free shot. Well, or was that? 
Okay, number two. I thought it was Franco. Our Vasquez. Okay. There's a long three-pointer. No good. Rebound to the Mules. Now it goes. Mules get it across the half line. In the corner. There's a shot from the corner. No good. Rebound. And I tell you what, Ronnie, they are aggressive. They just take it away from you if you don't watch it. And that's a score by number 13. This 13, Ronnie. Uh, Saul Espino is really a good uh, player. How many he points he has? So he already has 10 of their 20 points. And a chance for a three-point play here. And he missed that. Rebound. Rebound went to Boning. Tristan Boning. Uh, the new. Now number two. Good attack. Good. Good drive there. Good drive by Tony Castilla. And we're tied 2020 with 342 left in the half, first half. Good pressure out there by the Mules. This number 13 is really a good ball player. Now he goes off to the wing, number 30. Uh, rebound. The rebound goes to number two, Tony Castilla. And stolen away. They've, and. Re missed it, rebounds, back out. Friona still has it, back on the wing. There's a long three-pointer, no good, and the rebound goes to Boning. That's two tough rebounds that Boning has gotten. Now over to number 20, whoa! And he's fouled by number two. Number two is Jose Tandio of the Chieftains. Score tied, 20-20. The Mules have it with 30, with three minutes to go. And they're going to be shooting the one and one. And that'll be number 20 for the Mules, J.J. Godaro. Puts it up. Hits the first one. J.J. will have one more. I think that's J.J. Gadera, Ronnie, instead of G G Gadaro. I, I pronounced that wrong. J.J. Gadera. And he missed that one. A rebound. A good, tough rebound in there by Marco Daniel. And he's fouled by number, number 14, Christian Hutchins. And Boning comes out, and Compass comes in, number 10, Danny, Danny Compass. And he missed that one. The rebound goes to Friona. Mules lead by one. Just under three minutes left in the first half. Friona comes, brings it across the half line. Pressure by the Mules. Now back over on the wing. Almost had, that, almost stole that, and there's a long three-pointer, no good, and the rebound is going to go. And number two foul then for the Mules, Tony Castilla. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, I, Ronnie, I had, I had Freona there, uh, number two. Well, Tony Vasquez, Castillo is number two, and Antonio Vasquez number one. Yeah, no, and that's Tony Castillo. Right here, number two. All right. No, no, you had it right. See, that's Antonio Vasquez number one, and Tony. Uh oh. <laughs> That's Tony Castilla. Change that to Castilla. <laughs> we, we had the wrong name down there. Uh, we had the first name right, but we didn't have the second name, so that was my fault. Uh, uh, number 14. That is uh, Christian Hutchins. And he hit him. Well, it must have been not me. 
I guess he scored you the turn, eh? Tough rebound there by Gonzalez. And it's tie ball. Jump ball, but it will go to the Mules. Gonzalez, uh, Keegan went up and got that rebound. They tied it up, but, and they do it again. That should be, that should be a foul there. And one four, Christian Hutchins on the foul, but uh, they are aggressive. Freon is very aggressive. That's the second foul on Hutchins, and that will put Gray Johnson at the line. Number 12 hits the first one. I think we have him, we don't have him down. Number 12, Gray Johnson hits the first one. He'll get one more. And he missed that one. And I believe we have a foul on, I think that was, that was Keegan Gonzalez and that's his third, I believe. And now Shipman's coming in. Gonzalez comes out. Um, see, another one came in there. Clarkson came out. And see, we had another one just a minute. And that number four hits that one. And the other one that came in a while ago was uh, number four for the Mules, Ronnie. That is. Um, that was good also. Well, just a minute. Jake. Texas. And number. Yeah, there's two. Who was there? Johnson. Gray Johnson for two. The Mules trail 26 to 24 with a minute and a half left in the first half. And I, I mentioned number four a while ago for the Mules. That's Wesley Clarkson. And we have a walk-in violation on Freona. So it'll be the Mules basketball. They trail by two with 121 left in the First half, 26-24. Now the ball goes to Josh Lopez. Now over to Compass. There it is, good. Ran a little back door there, and Compass laid it up for two and a good pass to him. And we're tied. Almost stolen by Josh Lopez, but Freona retains it. They're back down, set up their offense. Number four, drive, shoots, and rebound. Lopez for the Mules. Quickly down the floor. Texas, Texas, Texas. Now it goes to Johnson. Out the top, over there to Compass. Number five, it goes to Roman Franco. There's the shot, good. Good shot by, that was a three by Gray Johnson. Good shot there by Johnson. Stolen away by Johnson. He's gonna lay it up for two. Good. Good job there by Gray Johnson. That's five quick points. Actually, he's had seven quick points. Well, they, they, they come right back down and lay it up. And it's 31 to 28 at the half in favor of the Mules. Get this second half underway. The Mules lead 31-28. It'll be free on this basketball to begin the third quarter. This is the Oh, thank you, thank you. And Freona with the basketball inbounds now. Man for man defense for the Mules. They lead by three. And Freona drives a length to the floor and misses a layup. Boy, they've Driven on us all night long. They uh, really go for that basket. They just stole the basketball, a turnover on the mules. And number 30 fires way out there, and he tied the ball game up, a three. At number 30 for uh, uh, Freona Hickman. 
And he has three more. Mule she will try three. It's too hard. No good. The battle for the rebound taken by no one so far. It was hit last by who? Let's see. Well, let's see who they call that on. Out of bounds, uh, out of bounds on Mule Shoe. For illness basketball on their end of the floor. Scores tied at 31. And a little short jumper is off the rim. No good. Rebounded by Shipman. A good tough rebound by Shipman as he goes high in the air for that rebound. And Muleshoe brings the ball down the floor. Fired out by number two. In and out. And the rebound goes to Friona. Jose, uh, let's see. Get these names right for you. That's Tony Castillo that missed that shot. Almost had it down, but it rolled out. Scores tied at 31. Freona has the only three points here so far in this half. And they'll try another three-point shot. No good. And missed everything but saved by Freona. And then they fire again and miss. And Castillo takes a rebound. With the basketball for the Mules now is number five down the floor. That's Franco. Man for man defense. Mule Shoe looking inside, trying to find someone underneath open. Now they're across the middle and a foul called on Freona. Number five broke across the middle, took the pass and was fouled. Number two on the foul. Three fouls on him, that's Jose Donadio. All right, shooting is number five for the Mules and he rolled that one in and the Mules score here in the second half and they retake the lead at 32-31. One more shot here for Franco, number five. Got that one too and the Mules lead by two, Rebounding the ball is Castillo all the way down the floor and misses a layup. Rebounded by Danielle and then batted away and out of bounds by the Chiefs. And so it'll be Mule Shoes basketball. Six minutes exactly remaining in the third quarter. The Mules up 33-31. Stolen by Freona trying to get the ball inside. Drive all the way in and fouled. A foul on uh, Danielle going to the line for two shots will be number 30 for the Chiefs, and that will be Brand Hickman. He'll have a chance here to put Freona back in front. He has the only three points for Freona, or to tie it, rather. He missed that one. He'll have one more. He has a three-pointer this half, and that's the only three points that Freona has scored so far in this third quarter. So it's 33-31, one more shot for Hickman. Muleshoe leads by two. 5.50 remaining third quarter. Shot is up and, ooh, missed it all in, so it'll be Muleshoe's basketball. Turnover on Freona on the shot. Trapped in the corner, gets the ball out. Now across the half line. Freona sets up, or rather, Muleshoe sets up their offense. Danielle with the ball goes over to the side to number five. That's Franco. Franco looks inside. No one to pass to. And the shot taken outside. Banked or off the rim. No good. Rebounded by Freona. That shot taken by Castillo. Driving in and being fouled is Freona. Let's see who the foul's called on. Number five. Number five, Roman Franco called for the foul. Two shots. Well, three on the board, yes. Number 13, Saul Espino fires and got that one. He'll have one more. I think he had 12 points in the first half, didn't he? He has 13 now. Five more players coming in for Muleshoe. That'll be great. Johnson will be one of them. Uh, Compass coming in, Lopez coming in, Boning. Boning coming in, and also Gonzalez. That's all right. Second shot is good. 14 points now for Espino, and the score's tied at 33. Full court pressure. Almost stolen. Now we get the ball across to Compass. 
And a shot by Johnson from the corner is short off the rim, rebounded by Compass. He'll go up and shot partially blocked. Let's see whose ball it is. Hit last by the Mules. It'll be for Onus basketball. 33-33 the score. 5-0-4 remaining third quarter. Very evenly matched couple of teams out here. Good ball game so far. Brown will beat the press on the long pass. Gets the ball underneath to number 25. He puts it up off the board. No good. Battle for the rebound taken by Lopez. Lopez of the Mules dribbling the ball down the floor. Looks. Gets the ball over to Compass now over in the corner. Back outside Lopez setting up to Boning. Johnson with the basketball goes over to Lopez. He'll try a three off the rim. No good. And rebounded and put in by Gray Johnson. Good job by Johnson. He has 10 points if I'm not mistaken. 35-33 Mule Shoe. And a foul on Lopez, a reaching foul. That is three team fouls on the Mules, one on the Chiefs here in this third quarter. Be free on his basketball, they trail by two. And a little give and go, and they just tied it up. Number 13, Espino scored, and did they call a foul too? Let, no, someone lost a shoe. Freona, one of the Freona players lost a shoe, so we are have a short time out here. Now we're ready to go. The score tied at 35. Espino now, Bob, has, uh, what, 15, 16 points, 14 Lopez with the basketball, goes to Johnson, back to Boning, over to Compass. Gray Johnson looks back over to Lopez. Lopez wanted to shoot, now gets the ball inside, and shot is good in there by Compass. Good pass by Lopez. Number 10, Compass put one up and in, and the Mules lead by two again, 37-35. 3.44 remaining, Freona on the dribble, and they have that one batted away. Last hit, I think, by Freona, and it was. Freona just gets the ball and they just lower their head and here they go. They drive right down that middle and, and uh, if you don't put a little defense on them, they'll lay it up on you. 37-35 the score. Mule leads by two. Almost a steal, save by bowling. Boning. Miss it, man. Miss it. Lopez. Lopez number three. It's a ball over to Compass over in the corner. And a, a steal on the attempted pass, and Lopez saved the layup, but the ball goes out of bounds on the Mules, and it'll be Freona's basketball. Here comes number one in the ball game for the Mules now. That is uh, Antonio Vasquez. Is that right, Antonio Vasquez, or is it? Oh, they just put it in with number four. Okay, number four tied it up, 37-37. Little short bank shot, Jacob Dixon put that one up and in. Pass goes inside, Lopez fires, misses, and it goes out of bounds. It will be Freona's basketball, number two coming back in the ball game for Freona. That's Jose Tenadio. Scores tied at 37. 250 remaining third quarter here in this JV basketball game. Freona with the basketball and a chance to take the lead. And they fire from the corner, shot no good. Battle for the rebound taken by Freona. Now a jump ball called. It'll be Mule Shoes basketball. Number four coming into to the ball game for the Mules now. That is uh, Wesley Clarkson. No pressure this time by Freona. They dropped off the press. 2.33 remaining, third quarter. All tied at 37. And the shot is off the rim, no good, but Gray Johnson rebounded by Freona. Freona quickly down the floor, all the way down, lays the ball up and misses the layup. They had the layup and just missed it. Rebounded by Muleshoe, that was Clarkson. He gets the ball over to Compass. Back over in the corner. Zone defense now being played by Freona. Two, 
Mule shoe looking for a shot, almost had the ball stolen. Back over in the corner. Compass will be fouled by number four, I believe. Let's see. Dixon. Dixon on the foul. That's three team fouls on uh, free uh, on uh, no, that's two team fouls on free on and three on the mules here in the third quarter. Mule shoes basketball. That'll be uh, number one with the ball underneath. That's uh, Vasquez. Gets the ball over to Gray Johnson. Back outside the compass. 145, the Mules uh, in no hurry against his own defense. Scores tied at 37. Vasquez goes to Compass over in the corner, and Compass almost has the ball stolen. I'll tell you what, you can't hold the ball on this team, Bob. They'll, they'll take it away from you, and they just did then, a turnover. Trying to drive the middle is throwing a man-for-man defense. No, they're in the zone defense now. No, they're in a man. They are in a man. They are in a man. Okay. Almost a steal. Save by Freona. And now a steal. As Clarkson goes down on the sideline. And he was hammered in there by number 14. They do go after the ball. That's Christian Hutchins. Three on him. Scores tied at 37. Vasquez with the basketball. With a minute to go here in the third quarter, and the score tied at 37. Gray Johnson tried to fire a three and had the ball blocked and then taken away as a turnover, and Freona lays up. Well, they missed a lot of layups, and they missed another one, but there's a foul there on Clarkson, I believe. Clarkson fouls, and that'll be 14 fouls on the Mules here in this second half, third quarter, and it'll be not a shooting foul. It'll be Freona's basketball underneath the bucket. And Freona just turned it over there. They tried to pass the ball inside and passed it off another Freona player's shoes and goes out of bounds and a turnover. Johnson with the basketball goes back outside to Vasquez, Campos, and over to Clarkson. And a steal. All the way in, up and in. Number 13 has two more. How many points they have now, Bob? He just stole it again. And has two more, and he's fouled. Clarkson had four straight points there, Bob, and then a foul, I think, on Clarkson. Uh, the four straight points by Espino. Yeah. He has 12, 20 points. 20 points for Espino. And he'll have a chance to make it 21. The foul was on number four, Clarkson, and that's his fourth. One more shot here for Espino. And he missed this one. Rebounded over Freona, and it's put up. No good. And save by Compass. He rebounded that one. A rebound for both teams. 41-37 to 37 in favor of Freona. Thanks to Espino's four points, a couple of steals. Shot is up and no good by Compass. Battle for the rebound taken by Compass, and he misses it to Buzzer, and that's it for three quarters. Mule shoe trailing 41-37. Uh, fourth quarter, and the Mules lead, or trail by four, and almost turned it over, 37-41, to 41, Freona. And it goes inside, and... And timeout for Iona. So we'll be right back. Okay, Freona with the basketball. After the timeout, they bring it down, set up the offense, and almost lose it. This number 13, Espino, has 20 points. He's a very good ball player. And there's a long three-pointer, Ronnie. That's number 30s. That's his second one. That's a Hickman. And Freona's beginning to. And it's the last touch for the Mules. They turn it over off the knee. And all of a sudden, Freona has a 44 to 37 seven-point lead. And it's been a close game all the way. But that three-pointer really changed things there also. And it's stolen away by the and it's going to be stolen back by Freona. They have the quickest hands 
Ronnie, I've ever seen that. They miss it, rebound goes to, and they turn it over again. And a foul on number 20 for the Mules. And that is J.J. Gadara. So it'll be free on his ball out of bounds. They lead by seven. Uh, uh, Gardera. And Freona turns it over. 6.48 remaining in the in this JV game, and they trail by seven, but they have the basketball. Now yeah, the Mules move it around. Gets the zone defense, stolen away. They are very aggressive, Ronnie, very aggressive. And they lay it up for two. That's 22, uh, 22 points for Espino. Now there's a long three-pointer, good. Good three-pointer there by Godera. That is J.J. Godera. And good job there by Shipman of diving on the floor, Ronnie, aggressively and getting that no foul. And they fouled, let's see. That, let's see who that foul was on. Now we have substitutes coming in for the Mules. Number 25 fouled, and that is Trent Hickman for the Chieftains. Mules trail by six with just over six minutes remaining in the ball game. Lopez with the basketball. Now it goes over to Campus. Ronnie, Ronnie, we're having a little trouble going and meeting our passes, and uh, they were just jumping in there and picking them off. They are very, very aggressive. That goes to Johnson. Boning had a shot blocked. Now there's a shot, no good. And rebound Freona. That was a shot by Lopez off the rim, no good. Rebounded by Freona. 5.30 remaining. And we're back down the floor. Freona sets up their offense. And looked like they fouled Lopez, but I guess they didn't. Good rebound there by Boning. Lopez quickly down the floor. And good shot there by Lopez. Josh Lopez down the middle for two, and they've cut it to four. And I believe we're going to have a foul on Lopez. Josh, Josh, Josh Lopez. How many does Josh have? Do you know? One. That's his. Um, yeah, I think I think I missed it that one. At the line will be number four, Jacob Dixon for the Chieftains. And he hit that one. He'll get one more. Dixon has one more, and he hit that one. No, he missed that one. Good, tough, good, tough rebound by Keegan Gonzalez then. That goes inside. Okay, last, uh, last uh, touch by, well, the Mules actually uh, pa passed it out of bounds then. Looked like Boning was, didn't have anywhere to go with it. Lopez on the foul. That's his third. Boy, this Lopez, this uh, Espino, Ronnie, is a very good ball player. He is quick, really shoots the ball well, and uh, draws a lot of fouls. Puts it up, and he doesn't miss many. <laughs> He has 21, I think he has 21, at least 21, 23 points. Has a chance here at 24, and he missed that one. And rebound goes to Johnson of the Mules, and they trail by six. Over to Compass. 
And stolen away by Friona as the Mules turn it over. There's, there's uh, two more points for number 13, Espino. 25 points for Espino. Yeah, tell them down there. Yeah. Uh, Johnson with the ball over to Compass, over to Boning. Now back to Johnson. The Mules need to score. It's down to four minutes, and they trail by eight. That goes into Johnson. Johnson comes back out with it. You got to shoot back. They're really giving us trouble with this zone defense, Ronnie. 2-3 zone. Really having trouble scoring. Compass with the ball. Now back out to, oh, goes inside. There's a shot. And Johnson shoots, misses. Rebound, Freona. Ronnie, we just can't stay up with Espino. We just, he, he, did, he just beats us. He just beats us to the, the basket. What's he have, 27? 27 points for, as his, it sure I pronounce his name right, Ronnie. That is Saul Espino, 27 points. We'll start back after the timeout, the uh, Mules trail by 10. I think this is the largest lead of the game for either team. There's a shot, good, good shot. That, uh, Ronnie, was that a two? That was just a two. And that was Tony Castilla. And there's the one. Rebound for Iona. And let's see. We have a jump ball. I'm not sure who it's going to go to. And it goes to Friona. 52-44 with 2.49 remaining. And the Mules trail by eight, and it'll be Friona's basket ball under their goal. And they face the ball away. And uh, uh, White's, White's ball, they, t they turned it over. What he did, he, sig he, he signaled the wrong way. But it is uh, the Mules ball. Get it down there, nobody ever That's right. They get it on the other end of the floor because, like Ronnie said, no one touched it. But the Mules have it across the half line. They need to score quick. Move. Well, is it, is that, like we said, that zone is really giving them trouble. They're really moving on it. Okay, the ball in the corner to Shipman. There's a shot. Good. Number two. That's, that's, two. that's a three this time. And they've cut it. Okay, it's 50. Well, we can see what the score is. And they stepped on the line, Ronnie. They turned it over. It's 52 to 47 with 159 remaining, and the Mules have the ball. He shot another one. That one was a little bit off there and rebounded by Friona. And they turned it over again. Friona passes it out of bounds. <coughs> and we have a timeout, Friona. Okay, the Mules have the basketball. They trail by five, 145 remaining. Now it goes into Compass. Compass gonna shoot, good. Good shot there by Danny Compass, and the Mules are within three. And almost stolen there by Gonzalez. Good hustle. 52 to 49 with 132 remaining. And that's seven unanswered points for the Mules. And timeout by the Mules. And we'll be right back. After the timeout, be free on his basketball. 132 remaining. And stolen away by Okay, stolen away by Keegan Gonzalez. And the Mules have, have the ball. There's a shot. And rebound goes to 
Lopez. Campus. Oh, I thought he had it. Rebound again by the Mules, by Lopez. And a foul. That was on number 30. And that will put at the line Tony Castilla. Ronnie says they went back to a man-to-man. -man. And there's a shot, no good. And Tony Castillo will get one more. And he hit that one. So that cuts it to two. Full court pressure by the Mules. And stolen away again, Gonzalez. Good job there by Keegan Gonzalez. Stole it, there's a shot. No good, rebound by Friona. And I believe we're gonna have a foul on one of the mules. Basketball, they lead by two with 49.4 seconds remaining. They have the basketball, as I said, and it's a full court pressure by the mules. JV Mews, 50 to 52, Freona. They almost lost it. And they're on the line. Oh, well, I guess we were on the line, Ronnie. No, no one really had control of it then. That's stolen. Well, and we, we stole the ball. <laughs> Ronnie, we stole the ball, and then they got it back, and then we fouled. Uh, Lopez fouled. I think that's four on Lopez. Now, let's see. At the line will be number two, and that's uh, Jose, Jose Tan, Tandio. And he missed that. Rebound and rebound. Rebound by Keegan Gonzalez. Back to the Mules. And we have 30 seconds. The Mules trail by two. Good move. Good move. And we're tied. Good move there by Keegan Gonzalez. Rolling away. Timeout. Timeout by Coach McCutcheon. We have 15 seconds, and the Mules have the ball. Ready to go back after the timeout. This has really been an exciting JV ball game. The score is now tied 52-52. They got the ball inside to Keegan Gonzalez. He made a good move in there and laid it up for two. Then uh, the Mules stole the ball, and uh, they're going to have it with 15 seconds remaining, and we're tied. You gotta watch them though, they'll take that ball away from you and they just did it right there. And last touch by Freona. Yeah. So the mules, mules, the mules still have the ball. And Gray Johnson's a good outside shooter. That goes to Lopez, eight seconds. Now we're down to six seconds. Better be for shooting. And we double dribble. Okay. Well, it looks like we're going to overtime. Yeah, of course, Coach uh, McCutcheon telling them not to foul. And we, we are going to have overtime. So, we're looking at overtime, 52 to 52 to start the overtime. The overtime will be four minutes. Of course, we're tied. Now it goes to Lopez. Now, now back to Lopez. Now Compass. Now Gray Johnson. Now back at number 20. That is J.J. Gardea. And he's fouled. Good job, Barbara Gonzalez. He missed it, rebounded his own shot, shot again, and was fouled. 
And the foul was on 25, Ronnie his third. That's a Hickson. And at the line is Keegan Gonzalez. Puts it up, and he'll get missed that, but he'll get one more. Right, put, puts this one up and missed it and rebound we have a jump ball and it goes back to the mules oh it goes they signal wrong it goes to Friona on the jump ball so mules had some shots at it there and couldn't score and it'll go back to Friona full court pressure and number 13, Ronnie, you got to watch him. I guarantee you. Oh, man. Well, Ronnie, he is quite a ball player. Let's hope he's not injured. So, uh, Ronnie, we put the wrong one at the free throw line here on number 13. Well, he missed one. I must have jinxed him. That is Saul Espino. And he hit that one. So that gives a one point lead to Friona. Mules quickly down the floor. Now it goes to Johnson. Now it goes to Lopez. There he goes, there's, good, good shot by Gray Johnson. And I think we're gonna have a foul on someone. Well, maybe it wasn't a foul. Full court pressure, Mules lead by one, three minutes left. Okay, now back outside. You need, need to watch number 13, Saul Espino. There, that's number 30, has a couple of threes. But you gotta watch 13, Ronnie, he's gonna drive. Well, guess he didn't. And Freona turns it over, they hit the back of the backboard there on the side. Mew shoot 24 turnovers, free on the 20. And there's 25 right there. And let's see, let's see who got it. I'm not sure. Okay, last touch for the Mew, so it'll go back to Freona. 222 remaining. The Mews lead by one in this overtime period. 54-53. Now it goes number two. That's uh Tarando, they are going to get the ball to Espino because he is a very good ball player. Actually, I'm surprised Ronnie's not on the varsity. Well, he may be playing both places. And they call charging in. And uh, I believe that was the right call then. And that's got to be a turnover. And that was on number 13, Saul Espino. Ronnie, that's his first foul of the game. But he is, a, he takes it to the get, basket, but he did charge in. Now it goes, and the Muse turn it over. Trying to get it inside. Free on over the basketball. Now out top of the key. Now it goes back to Racha. Now number 30. Oh, number 30. <laughs> Woo. He got by with an elbow then, Ronnie. But he missed it, and the rebound went to Gonzalez. Now Johnson with it. Now Ronnie, he's having trouble his knee, but he's coming back in. One point lead, and well, I think we fouled over there. 
Uh, Ronnie, I think that's all of it for Lopez. I think it's his fourth foul, fifth foul. Uh, Espino. Well, I guess he's going in. And that is five fouls on Lopez for the Mules. And the Mules lead by one with 110 remaining, but Freona has two free shots. Oh, wait a minute. Yes. The Mules have 10 fouls, so they will be shooting two. And at the line, and it missed that one, number four. That is Jacob Dixon, and he'll get one more. He has a chance to tie it here. 110 remaining in the overtime. And he tied it up. The score's tied, and the Mules have the basketball with just over a minute remaining. Mules move it around. Almost a foul there. And they just take it away from us, Ronnie. Now they have the ball, and it's tied 13 with it, and that's who they want with the basketball, and he's fouled. So that'll put Espino at the line, shooting two. 33 seconds left, and it's tied up. Uh, let's see who the foul was on, Ronnie. Well, I don't think they put it up there. Puts it up, and he missed that one. He'll get one more. And coming in is Shipman, and coming in also is number two for the Mules. That is Tony Castilla. Yeah, it's tied right now, and and he hit that one. That makes him, I think, 28 or 29 points. So the Mules trail by one. Shipman, Shipman rebound and put it in and he's fouled. That was a good, good tough rebound in by Blaine Shipman. And Compass, Compass made a good move and missed it, but that was a good tough rebound by Blaine Shipman. The Mules lead by one and Shipman will be at the line with 20 seconds remaining. We have a time to live action. Blaine Shipman rebounded, put it back in for two and was fouled. The Mules lead by one and he'll get one free shot. 20 seconds remaining. And no good, rebound. Rebound, the Mules got it. And they fouled. So, 15 seconds remaining and now that's gonna put uh, Compass at the line and he's still just shooting one, one and one though, Ronnie. They have nine fouls. Got to hit the first one to get another one. And good. Good shot there by Compass. And that's a two-point lead. Now, Ronnie, this would be huge right here. If he could hit this one, then they'd have to hit a three. Puts it up. Good. Now the Mules get back. And the Coach um, McCutcheon telling them, don't foul, don't foul. There's, there's a shot, rebound, and rebound by Gray Johnson, and he's fouled. It looked like, like Ronnie said, when that long three was shot out there, it looked like it might hit it, but it didn't, and that was a good, tough rebound by Gray Johnson. Okay, Johnson will have two shots. It's a 10 point rule now. And he missed that one, he'll get one more. And now Freona wants a timeout with five seconds. 
After the timeout by Freona, Gray Johnson is back at the line. He missed the first one. He'll get one more. Five seconds remaining, and the Mules lead by three. Gray Johnson, he's had a good game. Puts it up. Good. Now the Mules just need to back off, Ronnie. Just don't want to foul. And rebound by Gonzalez. And the Mules win 59 to 55. That really good game by the JV Mules. And uh, we're going to figure up the stats quickly and then we'll be back with those. For the final stats from this very exciting JV basketball game, and the Mules won in overtime 59 to 55. And I have the uh, team stats. Uh, the Mules had 37 rebounds. They had 28 turnovers. They had ni 19 fouls. And on their uh, free throws, they hit 10 out of 22. For Freona, they had uh, 29 rebounds. They had uh, 22 turnovers. They had 16 fouls. And on their free throws, they hit 12 out of 25. And I'm going to give their leading score 29 points for Saul Espino. A very, very good ball player. Now for the Mules, I'm going to go ahead and give all of theirs. Um, just a minute here. Okay. Um, Antonio Vasquez uh, did not score. Tony Castilla had 10 points. Wesley Clarkson had two points. Roman Franco did not score. Oh, wait a minute. Roman had uh, two points, two free throws. And uh, J.J. Gandara had four points. And let's see. Danielle had, uh, Marco Danielle had two points. Blaine Shipman had nine points. And a big, big uh, rebound and put back there in the overtime. Uh, Tristan Boning did not score. And let's see, Keegan Gonzalez had, uh, let's see, what did Keegan, Keegan had six points and some very big rebounds and steals toward the end of the game. Gray Johnson had a very good game, hit some clutch free throws and had 13 points. And Danny Campus had nine points. He had a very good game. Oh, wait a minute. I think he had two, four, no, he had nine. And Josh Lopez had two points. So, big exciting game for the JV Mules. They, lead, they win 59 to 55, and we'll be back in a few minutes with the varsity game. <laughs> 